All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plant Brie Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water. So if you're listening to this, then we know you like to have a good time and we found the perfect drink to level up any occasion. It's for the ragers, the partiers, the life of the party. It's your new favorite drink. It's Pirate Water. So it's a can ready to go malt beverage with 10% alcohol. It comes in four epic flavors, margarita, sex on the beach, Bahama Mama, and Miami Vice. We love Pirate Water. We've been drinking it for fucking, I don't know, months now. We were living off of it this weekend. Grace was drinking it at Guff Ball and I'm going to be drinking it on the beach, Bahama Mama. So if you haven't tried it yet, make sure to go to drink piratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you or order it now on gopuff you can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you or order it on gopuff let's get into the episode what's up my degenerates welcome back to another episode of plan brie uncut we're on fire literally literally the whole city's going down by the way this is brianna i'm grace and that's gia hey for all you tuning in yeah for your first episode i hope this is it it's gonna be a banger <laughs> it's gonna be bomb just like the bomb that went off in this city yeah. this is crazy <laughs> it's insane there's it's like crazy can't I buy a mask i couldn't breathe we're back to covid 101 put your mask on so you can breathe oh my god but everyone i was i posted a tiktok and i was wearing a mask and all the people People from Canada are saying you're an idiot unless you just want to use a respirator. The mask isn't going to do shit, bitch. Oh, they you... even said bitch. Oh my god. I know. I was like, dude, roll They're out. really hitting the hammer on the nail. Yeah. You're a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> the hammer on the nail. Yes. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of smog in the city because of Canada's on fire. Canada's on fire. I hope they can figure it out because I can't breathe. Yeah. Selfishly, let's get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> imagine how bad it is in Canada. I can only imagine. They got to migrate to the next province, I believe. I don't know. I feel like they're just doing fine, though, because everyone's like, oh, everyone's apologizing in the comments. So sorry from Canada. I'm like, dude. That's <laughs> no, the of course they are. They're so ever. nice. It's like, sorry. It's crazy. <laughs> um, But look, Gia keeps talking about fucking baby, baby Do- Gronk. Gronk. And I'm just like really confused. I need you to explain this to me because what the fuck's going on? Who is Baby Gronk? So Baby Gronk is the national phenomenon of a, I don't know if he's eight or if he's 10 years old. Can we pull this motherfucker this Making me feel weird already. <laughs> is he like, is he going viral? He has as been, the kids would say? Yes, he's okay. been viral for a while because of his football skills. He's Apparently, nasty. he's like, you know how like um, LaMelo Ball, like his dad was crazy, those basketball players with the crazy mm-hmm. dad. Baby Gronk's dad is crazy too. And post all these videos of him saying that he's going to be the next Gronk. And uh, he has offers from LSU mom. and Alabama. He's except 10. he's 10 years old. Yes. Okay. So, so we're fibbing. I, so I guess we're just lying through our teeth at this point. There's um, no I guess Livy Dunn met Baby Gronk, and now this kid made this TikTok that says like, it, "I'll show it." Okay. And he says, "Did Baby? Does Livy Gronk rising up with the with the Drip King?" What? I'm excited. This is fun to look at. I like seeing stuff I've never seen before. I usually think I've seen it all. Yeah, so basically, just when you thought Livy you Dunn it. was rizzed up by Baby Gronk, that people are saying, oh, Gronk. and that Baby Gronk stole her from. Livy just trip convinced game. Baby Gronk to commit to LSU. Baby Gronk is the number one college football prospect in the country. He averages 300 yards and five touchdowns a game. On his visit to LSU, Livy rizzed him up. Livy even hugged Baby Gronk. He might be the new Riz King. Do you think Baby Gronk will lead LSU to a national championship? All right, this kid's robot? cracking me up. Who is that robot? He's got to be. This is satire, right? No, I think he that is He even hugged serious. Livy Dunn. Is he do a you, robot? <laughs> do you think Baby Gronk has a chance? He didn't blink one fucking time that whole time. That was Shit. terrifying. So this is this guy's MO. Oh, it's all all he talks about is Baby Gronk? Oh, yeah. So this is He's his, on his this team. Is his, this is his rival... Uh, Baby Gronk is the number one college football prospect in the country. But his number one spot was just challenged by his new enemy, Baby Diggs. It's a parade inside my city, yeah! Baby Diggs is an elite player who plays both wide receiver and quarterback. He is currently the number one football player in the class of 2030 (laughs) in New York. He also called out Baby Gronk. Like how can you- These are kids. (laughs) These are fucking kids. This is crazy. Who is this weirdo dude that makes these videos? Yeah, I don't Somebody know. Somebody do a background Hoop- check on Hoopify this Hoopify is his username. I, I caught zero blinks this whole entire time we've been talking about this guy. Yeah. All right, so Baby Gronk's risen up, Livy Dunn, or vice versa. Yeah. But here's the thing, guys. There's an age gap that's out of control, okay? So I feel strange even thinking about this. This guy needs to stop reporting on this. And guess what? Who cares? I mean, everyone in the world. Baby Gronk is the Livy best. Dunn. He's the best that's ever seen the world, Grace. It's Dude. Baby Gronk. I know fucking 10 other 10-year-olds that could 
beat his ass in football. Your sister Molly? Mm hmm. That's one. Mm hmm. That's one. You don't know many kids, do you? No. I actually don't know any kids. I can't think. Of, and I don't know how to talk to them, I'll tell you that. I know one kid. What kid? Ah, uh, my niece. Your niece. That's one. I know your kid. And I got my kid, and that's two kids that we know. Damn. <laughs> that's all we need to know. Yeah, I guess so. I don't make money. When are you going to riz up a kid? I know. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I'm not Livy Dunn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's going to get in some trouble. Uh, I know. I kind of feel bad. Like, she just met this she little kid, gave him a hug, and they're like, yo, she's risen him up. I don't think she ever wanted that narrative. No. <laughs> no that freaking perv man with no blinking. He's he's a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. I should get him on the show. I think we you should. You guys want guests for Thursday episodes? Let's <laughs> get that guy. <laughs> and then we'll get Livy Dunn next, and then we'll get Baby Girl on class. Yeah. 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 As long Let's as his parents it. are cool with it. Yeah. No, baby girl. <laughs> he followed me on Twitter, so I have that in. That is That's crazy. weird, man. Yeah. It's definitely not him running his No, account. it's his dad. Yeah. His dad's a stage mom. His dad's rising up. Yeah. Does Would he you... have a mommy? Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe that's He could what be Baby Gronk's for. mama. Imagine. Your mama Gronk. Stepmama. I'll, I'll pass, but thanks for the offer. Oh, you should take it because he's going to be so rich one day. <sighs> He'll take care of you. Offer some I don't want to riz up Livy Dunn. Okay. Nobody said you had to. <laughs> I feel like it comes with the contract. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a really big contract we have to sign. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, we were talking about this before. Where would you hide your treasure chest mm. full of gold? You said. I said, and I guess we couldn't use it because it was for an ad, but mm -hmm. I said I would hide it in Hitler's grave if he has one because no one's going to go dig that up. Nobody wants that. And like, I would have to, I guess, to get my gold, but no one's ever going to suspect it there. No. No. Not at all. And then I said Betty White's grave because no one would dare to touch that beautiful grave. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't touch it. You, you, but then, then, then you have to dig it up. I have a question. Yeah. Are famous people just buried with the normies like us? There is the Hollywood Cemetery. And only the famy? Where the, the young, rich, and famous. Oh. Some old. Some all dead. Actually, all of them are They're dead. They're all dead, I think. And um, that was like where, like, uh, old Hollywood. Monroe? Yeah, all, old Hollywood is all buried there. Okay, so... They're dying not, to get in. We're not going <laughs> to... That was a perverted look. <laughs> uh, so we're not going to get ma uh, married. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to get married. Okay, um, perfect. And that's just what it is. So what are the topics that you found from uh, previous Previous callers? women and children and men have said that we should talk about the weirdest things we've ever seen in New York City. Right now, this week, it's that goddamn wildfire smog yeah i guess it's a someone said i don't know who this someone is but it's all over the internet mm -hmm. okay the interweb if you stay out for 24 hours it's equivalent to smoking six cigarettes but like if i smoke one of these a day it's equivalent to what 30 cigarettes probably so it's like not that bad today was the day i decided to bike to work and boy did i feel it in my throat <laughs> are you an idiot <laughs> i'm a moron i mean you didn't i oh no i actually you know what i kind of had a similar morning <laughs> what did you do so i i woke up i was like oh it's my big i'm gonna go get my breakfast and go eat it by the water and it's, <laughs> And I, it was all smog and I start walking down and everyone's got masks on and they're coming the opposite way of the water and I'm like oh they must have came from the hospital yeah I took the mask off and I started coughing I'm like dude you can't go sit by the water right now and eat your breakfast you're gonna die and then you were riding a bike through the city yeah just two happy-go-lucky fucks yeah. on a mission to die joy but here comes the smog yeah the smog is really insane and I guess it's supposed to be here for a while dude my mom was calling me saying I, she goes what are you doing right now I'm like riding a city bike she goes get off of the yeah, you're going to collapse. <laughs> they're saying everyone here is going to die in New York. Well, they're saying you on have the to news. stay inside and shut all your windows and turn all your ACs off and like get air purifiers. And it's like really, really bad for you. Uh -oh. Yeah, I left my AC on. Not gonna, yeah, I left my window wide open. My, yeah, I think both I did too. of my <laughs> windows were open when it came home. And the wind, my window panes turned black. Oh, shite. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> legit. Oh, we're in hellhole. I know. It, it, it feels like I Am Legend. If you go look outside, yeah, it, does. Does. it totally is giving I Am Legend vibes. All right, guys, quick commercial break. This is an exclusive ticketing part of Barstool Sports. It's created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. So it's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last-minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. The purchase process takes you two taps in 10 seconds. Once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with via text so you can get into the game seamlessly so you can skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. It's for our spontaneous people. It's for all of you guys that are listeners of this show. If you want to get into a good concert, a show it's summertime we got drake coming up to easy sism medusa chance the rapper mets yankees red sox games whatever you want to go to make sure you're using game time app to do it you can download the game time app or go to the website enter your email and redeem code plan brief for 20 dollars off your first purchase terms may apply make sure to check it out we love game time we've been using it for everything make sure to check it out go to game time uh or the app to 
Go to Game Time app or go to the website. Enter your email. Redeem code Plan B for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms may apply. That's a fire siren. I saw um, a TikTok this morning that this um, some girl's neighbor left their window open a, a smidge, and they haven't been home in a while because they haven't closed it. Yeah. And a pigeon flew in and laid a nest. <laughs> I saw in that her window. <laughs> I would be so happy if that happened. <laughs> oh, pigeons. It's pretty crazy. I actually won't pull it up because yeah, send funny. that in. I want to see that. It's a pigeon nest. I what probably you, have a pigeon nest in mine too. I would love that, but then you would have to let the pigeon come back in and take care of the eggs. Yeah, it's like a really or tricky. Or you could have breakfast. All I could picture was <laughs> the person coming home and going eh, <laughs> to the Th- eggs, throwing them outside. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's like abortion because they're not really fully there yet, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's like her pigeon, her choice, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but it wasn't the. Yeah, it's her pigeon, I guess. <laughs> but it's not the, the, the pigeon's right? mom's choice. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, cute. Like, it's kind of fat. You might have a pigeon that moved into your house. You left the window open a little bit. You thought, hey, you know, I'll have like a little bit of breeze. No, you have a pigeon. <laughs> no, and you guess pigeon. what? You have a pigeon that's about to be a mother. That's right. She is nesting in your apartment. Wow. Uh, we're about to have some baby pigeons on our hands. <laughs> I didn't even know pigeons voice. could actually fly, but it is happening. And stay tuned, and I'll keep you updated. I have Thank never you. seen a baby pigeon. I don't think that's I like a either. thing. What the fuck? That's why people think birds aren't real. Yeah. So they're not. Well, we just saw. We saw an egg. The, 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 I saw that they Ugh. have eggs. <gasps> Whoa. They're disgusting. Hey. Wow. Wait, I'm look the, at the pigeon queen. Look at the guy. You are the pigeon queen. Look at the guy in this hand. Pull that one up. Why is his fingers like that? Oh, that's a whack a doodle doo doo. Yeah, that's looks a like a dodo on the bird. Verge of yeah. Dying. Jesus Christ. I think Christ. that's what I meant. It's kind of like grossing <laughs> me out. Ah, yeah. So we're on pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we're at. Yeah, <laughs> Thursday pigeons. episodes, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, yeah. pigeons. This isn't even a Thursday episode. I know. That's why I started listing off other days of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's crazy. Pigeons are scary, huh? Yeah. What's the most, okay. What's the most feared animal that you think you could take on? Be realistic. I want you to be really realistic. And I want you to say an alligator. Something you really think you could take. You too, Gia. Think about this. I'll think about it as well. Something that you could really take on. You could win. I would love to say a kangaroo, but that motherfucker's got bouncing. Yeah, one kick to the head, you're yeah. dead. No, those motherfuckers are scary. Um, feared. Like, do they have to be a scary animal or just an animal in like general? Like, you can't say, oh, I'll, I'll kill a puppy. Oh, yeah. The largest, the largest animal you can you take on. You think you take on. could take on. I've kill it I had a hands. crazy answer one time. Oh, giraffe. I said giraffe one time. Oh, Okay. So how no the fuck would way. you do that? I didn't realize, I, did, we've talk, I think we've talked about it on this podcast before. I didn't realize how strong their necks were. I thought I could just climb to the top of their neck and just snap it in half. <laughs> oh, God. But I don't no, think you know, when, when they fight, I'm pretty they sure fight with their they fight, heavy, yeah. though. Have they, you ever seen a giraffe fight? Yeah. They, they go nuts. They go crazy. They go they crazy. They literally fight with, with their necks. Well, who would you take on? I don't know. My first thought was like a stray dog. Ooh, that bites your throat open. What about a deer? I feel like I could fuck up a deer. I was thinking a deer. You were going to say deer? Deer. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Or like, just fucking up animals. Maybe like a, a duck. <sighs> duck? That's easy. Yeah. I'd <sighs> fucking kick a duck across the room, no problem. <laughs> but I can't Fuck a duck. want to? Maybe. Okay. Depends on the day. Okay. <laughs> just depends if those ducks are trying to bite my ass and my friends and my family. Have you ever been attacked by an animal? A goose. One. Oh. Fucking geese. A family of geese oh. came running up on me and my mama oh, when God. we were kids. <laughs> no. When I was kid, well, I wasn't kids with my mom. That'd be crazy nuts. Yeah, that would be insane. But me and my mom got ran up on by a family of geese, and they were biting that shit. Oh no! And they, I don't know if they got like little tiny teeth. I can't remember. I was a kid. I don't think they have little tiny teeth. I don't know, but I pictured them having little tiny razor sharp teeth. Like, oh god, that would be fucked. Because they attack everything they see. Geese are so they're just so fuck those geese. Oh, you know what Brianna is? What a a a bird feeder. She feeds the birds. She lets all the feed birds come. The seagulls. The birds. I do. Beach. I like to feed. Attack. I like to feed animals. Mm. And sorry, I have a huge heart. I just. I. I mean. Then. Well. But. But you do it, and then you're like, oh, get away after. Well, because then they ate all of my chicken. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and that seems like. Um. That seems like. Mm, cannibalism. Cannibalism. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, what they deserve. I don't like seagulls. Oh, I love seagulls. I'll feed ducks in the pond, but I won't feed a seagull. Yeah. I'm not feeding any of those guys i love otters guys otters are cool they're cute they're cute they're yeah. really cute have you seen finding dory oh, yes when otters. they do the cuddle party yes i you love know that. what an otter is Grace. i know but otters At and Blue beavers Haven. what 
No, what is it called? Blue Mountain. It's in back home. Blue Hills. Blue Hills. Blue Hills. They have otters. They have otters. Yes. <laughs> but what about um? What about? I just had it. A beaver. Beavers. beavers. Are they the same thing? No, different. No, that's a beaver and that's an otter. Okay, I didn't know if it was like a female beaver oh. was an otter. Okay, no. What a moron. No, there's a sea otter and a river otter. Oh, mm. God. And a sea otter are those cute ones that are fluffy that hold hands. River otters are like the more sleek, slender ones. Interesting. Oh, yeah. oh wait. Since so we're on the topic of animals. Yeah. I saw this. these two twin girls. They went on vacation. Women or da- cows? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, cows. <laughs> uh, we're, they're women now. Okay. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, there's a scary twist okay okay so these two women Mm -hmm. they're women um they're twin girls Mm -hmm. (laughs) twin girl women they went on a trip to uh, i don't know i saw a video about it they went on a trip (laughs) and they stayed in a hostel and they befriended this guy he was he was kind of staying to himself a little right like he wasn't really talking to anybody and then they were like we really want to do something want to go on an excursion but we don't have so much money Mm -hmm. and then this guy came from like the depths of the hostel and he's like i know a place we could go Mm -hmm. and they were like okay where are we going? And he was like, I have a boat. A buddy can take us out on a boat. And then we'll go through this waterfall. And there's like a bunch of little creeks that we can swim in. Okay. I think they're like, in, they're in Ecuador or something. Somewhere I would never have been. And um, yet. they went yet. Well, I'm never going to go after this. What? Yeah. Strap in. So they went and they, they get like a group of people. There's like six people. And this guy brings them to this creek and there's like a beautiful waterfall and they're like, yeah, you can go in, swim in. So they start swimming in and they think there's this like big log coming towards them, <gasps> floating, oh. but it's a giant crocodile or alligator. I don't know what type of water it was in. But, I'm going to go with croc. And then the, I just am. the eyes opened and then they start screaming and then they're trying to swim. So two people get back up on the boat and then the two twin sisters start swimming t- towards like a, a mud thing that they could stand upon. And one of the sisters get up and then the other sister goes to reach up. And then the croc comes and gets her on, no. rips her down, rips her under, and then thrashes her and swimming her under. And then the twin sisters watching her sister go under say, oh, my God, oh, my God. Guess what a hero she is. She jumped in like this and tried to kill the crocodile and stab the crocodile like this. Stone Cold Steve Austin style? Yep. And then that sister got out with just the arm, and then she went back to the mud. And then the other crocodile got the sister by There's the torso, more? got the other sister by the torso, ripped her, took her under, and then strangled her up and then took her leg off and her arm. And then some the other guy. <laughs> came and cracked the crocodile on the head and then the, they were all on the mud pile and then the mr hostel guy that brought them there was nowhere to be found they survived but they lost an arm and a leg couple and questions a torso couple questions mm-hmm. was this a dream you know <laughs> it's really crazy where did you hear this i watched a full uh news video about it okay they were survivors they're survivors. They're survivors' twin sisters. Thank God. Imagine having a twin sister. And, and they never found the guy again from the hostel. What? And they have a picture of him posted up in all the hostels now saying, don't trust this guy. Why? Because he's feeding them to alligators? What's he have? What's, what, no, what? he said he, he just doesn't know. He just was trying to make a quick buck saying, I'll take you on oh. these excursions. But he has no idea where he's bringing these people. And he was like, it's safe water. And then they got all crashed up. And then he was nowhere to be found, took the boat. I thought he had a deal with the gators. No, <laughs> he was just confused. And he made a bad they mistake. They were goats. Yeah. Well, so he's a bad guy. And his picture's posted up everywhere. That's a good way but to make a But they survived. The sisters. Yeah? Yeah. So that's, Good for them. I'm happy fine. for them. Yeah. Do you think you could... Uh, Ever go in the water again after something like that? Um, no. Not that kind of water. I'd stay strictly sea. I'd be a sea turtle. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So that what was my you? scary story. No. No. I don't know where I could go back and say, yeah, I made it out. Well, that's what we said about the shark thing. Yeah. Commercial break for Takis. Face the intensity with Takis, the most intense snack ever. Takis makes the best and most intense snacks like the Takis Waves, Kettles, Hot Nuts, Takis sticks takis pop and takis rolls and for people who still want the intensity without the spice you might try their intense nachos the first non-spicy takis flavor insanely cheesy still super intense takis snacks are the perfect snack for any occasion road trips gaming watching tv chilling hanging out with friends no matter what you're doing having takis snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense try takis today and face the intensity let's get back to the show like if we got bit by a shark you like you you'd be like well, the odds of you getting bit by a shark again is like slim to none. Yeah. So you're the king of the ocean. Yeah. You wear that shark tooth around your fucking neck. Yeah. Because you went back in there and you gave him a piece of your mind. Yeah. You took the shark's fucking favorite tooth. You ripped it out. Mm-hmm. You said, you got my arm, but I got your tooth. And you wear yep. it around your fucking 
throat. Big throat. And you live <laughs> to swim another day. You know it would be cooler if you even... <laughs> You it, swallowed it? No, you put it in like this. <laughs> and then it's like, I can never take it out because I'll die because it's in your jugular. So it's just, it's just right <laughs> That's there. That's one way to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> or you get one of your teeth removed and you put oh, it in wow. as, as your tooth. I think oh, that's the best of the That's three banger. I'll get my front yeah. tooth, my, yeah. my two front. Oh, like, and look at this. <laughs> shark teeth. Yeah. You, or the canine. You, you wobble into tooth. a bar. And you're like, oh, back in my day, <laughs> yeah. I bit a shark and I won. Yeah. Or then you, okay, you get the teeth implanted in you and then you go back looking for that truck to bite it. Oh. Oh, yeah. you with your own teeth. yeah, and then you go to the bar and say, "Look, what are <laughs> yep, shock me for everybody." Yeah. And then you say, "Rip the other tooth out." And you say, "I'm done." <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is vivid. Yeah, this I is can beautiful. see it all. This is just storytelling. Okay, um, we should preface: start smoking weed now if you haven't. Yeah, yeah, get stoned for this episode. Buckle up. Buckle the fuck up. <laughs> I haven't smoked weed in God knows how long. I haven't smoked weed in forever, and I keep I keep thinking to go buy a little blicky. Uh huh. And because you can get them at the bodegas in New York City, just say one weed, please, and yeah. I'll give it to you. It's cra- it's actually a crazy concept. Yeah, and it was before it was even legal. They were just out everywhere, and it's just like I'll take that. But remember, we we got fucked with that. Yep, and we're smoking the moon rock. Smoking that moon rock, and that moon rock is uh, equivalent to crack, I'd say. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely not weed. It's some in there. synthetic shit. Yeah, it was pretty terrifying. This is like, make it a little tweaky. <laughs> yeah, it was a little scary. You're high like for that. like two days. Yeah, yeah I didn't weed like that at all. Supposed to last like forty five minutes when you smoke them, Jay. <laughs> There's a crazy guy here named Stu. And he has a lot of weed. And he it's really quit. strong Same. weed. Yeah. Yeah, he did it to you. Yeah. He made me quit because he kept asking me to smoke it. Yeah. And I oh, said, he made me quit man. because he got me too high. Yeah. Multiple times. I heard some bad stories. Yeah. It was yeah. before I, I worked here and I said, Brie, do you have any weed? And she said, yeah, there's some in my bag, but it's Stu's weed. And I thought that was a strain. Oh. I was like, oh, stew weed, all right, cool. All right, all right. And so uh, this man's <laughs> name is Stu. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool, that's a strain, it sounds fun. Stew. And um, Stu's weed is actually, should have another warning label that says, Stu's weed, don't smoke it, mm-hmm. because um, it was actually an edible, and I was high for two days, and um, I, that's awful. I don't, edibles, I don't like that at all. I've never been chilling off an edible. Never, ever, ever. Ever, like maybe like a five milligram or something, but when I'm taking like a... Oh, man. I remember the first time I took an edible. So I bought a brownie from, uh, you know, Griff Man. Oh, the Griffster. I bought, a, I bought a brownie from this guy back in our high school. Cool guy. Great guy. Always wore his polos with his gym shorts. Like Adam Sandler before it was a thing. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> Like, seriously though you're yeah. right though <laughs> and um he he was always just like happy go lucky guy and he was like yeah i made these pot brownies yeah i was like whoa no way p-o-t p-o-t brownies so he gave me one brownie and it was 100 milligrams and he was like yeah just eat one and i was like all right i'll eat one yeah but i guess he meant like one bite mm. so i ate the whole thing <laughs> Oh my god! What the hell? I lost my phone. I think I tried to break up with my boyfriend, but I was texting my mom, Mm. and I was literally breaking up with your mom. That's hilarious. I mean, dude, that's funny, funny funny skit, dude. Didn't find it funny though. Yeah, that's a funny skit. And you pan over to the mom, and she's like, "What the hell?" (laughs) And fucking, I was breaking up with my long distance boyfriend, but it was my mom. I was texting with your mom. Is so funny. (laughs) And then I lost. It's not me. It's you. I lost my phone, (laughs) and then she was like, she came home that night, but I had fallen asleep for like. Eight hours. I was already asleep for eight hours, bro. And she wakes me up. She's like, what is going on? What are you talking about? And I just remember going, my head we're over. Spinning. My head's spinning. She's like, what the oh. fuck, man? She didn't care, though. She left me. I was like, all right, word. Yeah, we're gonna and suffer I was high yourself. for two days. And then I almost drowned the next day. I think I tried to drown myself because I was like, this is it forever. Bree, that's a cry for help. Yeah, weed's not fun, man. Weed is not tight sometimes. But sometimes <laughs> it is chill as hell. Yeah, you could chill, I guess. But no way, not me. Remember, we're not chill girls. We're not chill girls. We're not chill girls. And we're just not chill girls. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I can't do that shit no more. Nope. I just stick to shrooms, which yeah. is crazy because those it's, are less scary to me. It's crazy because you can talk yourself out of it. Yeah. Don't know if that's true, but you told me that and I believe it. Oh, <laughs> I know. It's true. It's true. It works. It works. It works. It works. Um, what else? What else have they got on the topic? <laughs> oh. Oh, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen in New York City? Uh, I guess someone shooting up. That's like the oh, only crazy yeah. thing I've seen. Actually... One time I saw a guy rollerblading in Central Park balancing a water bottle on his head. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 saw, I saw a guy once and he was balancing a basketball on his head in the Hudson River. Swimming? Treading water? No, just like um, I was in Brooklyn. Yeah, wait, what? Wait, Brooklyn's, what, Brooklyn is just, what? The East River? Yeah. Yeah. He was in the East River and like in, in oh, Dumbo. Oh, video of this. In Dumbo, you can walk down. Let me see if I can. Nah, it's too far away. But- 
It's also not that cool. It's not that cool. But this guy who was balancing a basketball in the water, and I was like, first of all, you're in the water. Yucky. Second of mm. all, why? Third of all, basketball? Pretty cool. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen something too crazy. I've seen a lot of penises. Yeah. Just, which is, just of, sucks because it ruins your day. Where? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll hook you up with a guy. Thank you. He's actually downstairs out front all the time with his pants down. Gross. <laughs> yeah. It's I think I know much. what you're talking about. Yeah. He's I saw a local. woman pooping. Pooping? <laughs> yeah. Oh, on the mattress <laughs> outside? I saw that once. <laughs> no, I was walking down the street at night and I turned my head and I saw a plop. And I said, I don't know what I just saw. I don't want to know Gosh. what I just saw. Damn. Just pretend it was a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a big, great day. And taking yeah. Poop. Oh, one time I saw a guy walk out of an empty bar, do a huge bump, and then walk back into the bar. Oh, nice. Was it one of our friends? Oh, probably. Um, <laughs> was that, no, was but... that Grace last year? <laughs> 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 I wasn't really wearing makeup, so it's hard to yeah. tell. <laughs> no, it was like it was last week, out. so uh, I think I would have known by now. But yeah, that's probably it, honestly. I think, we, well, one time we ended up in someone's apartment, and there it was a Game of Thrones it was a mansion apartment. Oh, that was crazy. And it was a Game of well, you Thrones know who, who, swords, but it wasn't his apartment. He was It was his friend's apartment that he oh. was staying at. No, it was a, it was a Russian woman. Yeah. Because the Russian woman lets him stay there sometimes. Yeah. That, like, but it was a Game of Thrones apartment with a, a throne of swords. Let me find that. And there was a chandelier of swords. It was fucking crazy. And then there's just this guy walking around with, with a tie on. And he was like maybe 19 saying, I'm just going to be honest. First of all, he had a can of, he had a box of whippets. Whippets. Saying, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, I was born rich. So I just do whippets all the time. Yeah. And like, I'm not going to pretend I'm not rich. I have nothing to do. As so he, why wouldn't I do whippets? This <laughs> is just being Word honest up. here. I was like, you're so honest, man. It was 6 a.m. Then the models came in and they were like we don't drink we only do cocaine that was crazy and, we and they like, were 12 and a half as well i was like what this is bizarre they were like yeah too many calories we need cocaine and i was like it's six in the morning can we leave please can we leave <laughs> there's so many demons oh so scary i'm so close to it let me find it yeah, there's been a lot remember we went to that same night we went to a rooftop party and they it was someone's just we just like walked into someone's house and they were like hey guys you can't be here <laughs> and we were like oh true we just kind of came here that oh yeah they were totally not down with that yeah but they were it was like several stories of people there yeah and it was like 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 stories like floors and it was like what the hell why why can't we just like be in the corner yeah why can't we just kept saying why do we have to go <laughs> but like now we that just... i look back i'm like oh i wouldn't want anyone i don't know at my house especially the way we were looking <laughs> the group we were with yeah let me uh pull up that oh i found it awesome Brianna's posted up. You should have posted this on Instagram. It's awesome. What the hell is it? I can't find it. I can't find it. I can not send it. Send. It's downloading. Why don't you own any of your own pictures? I say it all the time, but it's like ridiculous. Game yes. of Thrones. Game of Thrones. And there were so many of those. And oh, do you have a picture of the chandelier? Oh, uh, let me see. That's all made out of swords. Oh, this was after Izu, after my phone got stolen. And then I went right back out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and no wonder we got kicked out. Look, because look at how freaking crazy we looked. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Jesus Christ, man. That was a dark time. Yeah, those are scary girls. We went to... Okay, so we went to Izu, got my phone stolen. I went home, deleted everything off my phone. Then we went to Blue Haven. Then mm -hmm. we went to Lavo for a whole set, a DJ set. We did? Yes. And then we left, and then we went to that roof party that we got kicked out at. And then oh. we ended up in the Game of Thrones. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. What and a night that we, was. I think we came in probably the next day or two and recorded. New York, New York, New the York, city New of York. I feel like a granny because I feel like we don't do crazy like that anymore. I'm cool with that. Yeah, no, that's I'm okay. Cool with that. Still have fun. Yeah. Don't have to be doing. That sounds like it's a, a chore. Story. It's a good. Story. It's a good story. It's a good story. It's a good story. Um, what speaking of good stories, let's find some more. <laughs> the next thing would be um, worst drunk of your life. Oh God, worst drunk. Of my life. Probably my worst drunk of my life would probably be when I drank a bottle of uh, apple green apple Smirnoff. Mm -hmm. It was a plastic bottle. Mm. And I was having a pool party. Easier and to transport. All my friends were over because my parents were out of town. We were going to Jersey Shore the next two oh, days. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I drank all of it. And um 
uh, the same guy, Grif- Grifster, mm-hmm. he um, saved my life because I almost fell into my pool from the two stories above on um, my backyard. Mm-hmm. And uh, then my sister had to come in from work and give me a tub. Oh, yeah. I don't recall any of this. I woke up with a concussion, all these black and blue bruises. I forgot about that. That was the worst. And I was hungover and- for five days. And I oh yeah, you were pumped. so fucking hungover. You couldn't and, even have fun in the Jersey Shore. No, I was hungover for five days, and I should have got my stomach pumped. And my parents were so very mad at me. And um, that one kid that we knew mm-hmm. said he saw you naked in the tub. He was watching me naked in the tub while my sister bathed me. Get out of my bathroom, man! You also stole a bunch of money from my mom's room, and I'm never gonna forget that. And you did a bunch of bad stuff to me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's just a fucking demon. And I tried to confront him one time when about all that stuff, and he said, "Literally, didn't happen." I'm like, "You know what? You're right." <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm, you're so scary. I'm you're actually just gonna run bad away. Bad fucking guy. You, what's your worst drunk ever? Um, that night's pretty bad with that kid. Yeah. Um, and then we got. Well, I guess the first time I ever got drunk, I drank piss. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that stinks. That stinks. Yeah. That really stinks. Um, we um, we all friggin. Oh, yeah. you know, this is crazy. <laughs> that kid again. The Griff Master peed in the bottle. He did. Wow. He's a topic of discussion, man. <laughs> he's a good guy that we love him. Yeah, that was, was pretty bad for a couple bad, years. That was the only bad thing he's ever done, though. And it yeah. was peer pressure from the mean boys. You yeah. Because he was yeah. always a good-hearted guy. Still don't And know. I just still don't think it was him. I think it was friggin' still Zilly. Still don't know Zilly. if there was actually piss in there. They could have just been pulling my leg for years. Uh, I think we asked this, and they were like, we asked this, like, last year, and they were like, sorry, it really was true. Oh, yeah, we did ask Big O'Shano. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, yeah, it's actually true. Uh-huh. So, yeah, uh, first night I ever got friggin' wasted, I drank piss and lake water. Mm-hmm. And got picked up off my neighbor's lawn because we were drinking around the block. I was hiding in the bushes. And um, I, my friend's mom picked me up. And <laughs> I, there was just some family issues going on with them at the time. And I brought them up in the car. Oh, God. Yelling at her, screaming oh, at her. Yeah. And okay, calling so her bad names. We're in a neighborhood of one block. It's one circle. Yeah. And she just kept Winter circling. circle. She just kept circling it. She just kept circling I remember because we were like, why are they still driving around? So you guys must have been yelling at each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It comes in flashbacks. Yeah. I just and remember then, you oh. rolling on the pavement and there was like toilet paper all stuck to you. That's yeah, what I remember. Really messy. And um, <laughs> so I got home mm-hmm. and it was pretty early, mm-hmm. like 10 o'clock. Seven maybe. <laughs> and I, I roll in. And my, we, we used to have to get this done before our parents came home for work. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was like bing, bang, boom. Yeah. Get this. Get, get, get this done. Get wasted. Yeah. It's a fucking chore. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, yeah, no, I rolled in and my dad's sitting on the couch and, uh, back at the time it was, uh, red box movies. Mm-hmm. We, my dad loved getting red box movies. So, so good. I go, uh, dad, you want to watch a movie? And he's like, yeah, sure. It's in the car. And I'm like, all right. Go out to the car, stumble back in. I start, I start playing with the DVD player and I sit back down on the couch. Hasn't even turned on yet. TV's literally on like a blue screen. I go, this movie's fucking sh- stupid and i said a bad word oh, instead of stupid all right okay and i was a kid and i was the first time drunk okay. all right just so everyone knows okay and uh he said get the fuck up and i said what <laughs> and he said get the fuck up oh, God. and he made me stand on one leg maybe do the abc's backwards which i can't do sober to this day who fucking can next morning i uh i was hoping he wouldn't tell my mother my mother was the scariest one and um i took a shower I, got, I put on my prettiest dress, and we were supposed to go to uh, Memorial Mass uh, for one of our aunts. And I got in the car, and my mom said, I know exactly what you fucking did. I'm so fucking mad at you. Oh, and we had to sit in traffic, Sunday morning traffic, to the fucking church. Uh-huh. I had to sit through church with my mama. Uh-huh. She's looking at me fucking pissed, saying, Ugh, hates me. And then we go out to dinner, and I'm next to my grandmother. And I go, Grandma, can I please stay with you for a couple of days? And I skipped a couple days of school to get away from my mom. And I told my grandmother that she was mad at me for not doing my chores, I think. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So. How come every time the first time you get drunk, you get caught? Because you're a fucking bozo. Yeah. Mine was pretty bad, too. Mine was, okay, so we got we went to the beach. Remember the, oh, yeah. that beach day? Mm-hmm. And then we came home. And I was in love with this boy. We all were. Mm-hmm. We all were in love with this one boy. Yeah. And um, but I I made it known like, hey, I'm really in love with this dude, man. Like, and my best friend was making out with him when we were at we were at the bad guy's house again, yeah. the really bad guy's house, the bad guy with the moon. 
Oh, yeah. yeah we were at his house. The worst. And um, <laughs> we were at his house, and I see them making out. And I'm, dude, I'm, I'm gone for, I'm done for. And I, at this point, couldn't walk. So we're in my neighborhood. It's a little bigger than Winter Circle. So I see my best friend making out with my lover. My mm. literal, I thought that was my guy till the day. I thought we were be married right now and I'd have children and he'd be in the army and I'd be taking care of the kids and sweeping away back in the day this boy gave you the tingle oh my god just so you know yeah it was crazy your body and your lady he was the (laughs) only hot person in our school in our town and he was just like you are the man do you know he listens no yeah who said that Shano Shano said that he listens because he thought it was really funny we used uh someone's real name the other day oh wow he was the one who showed him Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. Well, I was in love with you when we were kids. We all know that. Um, anyways. I just said I just said on camera that he made my labia tickle. Okay. All right. So, hey, we were all kids, man. It was. The I first didn't time know what it meant. Seeing these feelings. All right. Um, but this was so we were about to be freshmen in high school. This was eighth grade summer, and um, so I see my best friend making out with my lover, and I'm like, no way. So. I guess I try to walk home, but I stumble on the concrete on the way. So I walk into my door with bloody knees. I think you probably went through the park and got thornbush. I had to have something bad. I was gushing blood. My knees were gushing blood. (laughs) Um, So I walk in my door. First thing to my right is a bathroom. I'm like, I gotta go in there. Because I hear my parents yelling already. They're already fighting about something. So I hear that. And I go into the bathroom. I'm like, fuck, dude. I didn't even realize how fucked up I was. I just remember saying, fuck. Fuck, I'm not getting out of this one. Yeah. I am not getting out. And you really put yourself in a corner, too, because when you walk into Brianna's house, the bathroom was right on the right. Yeah. And there was no, like, you had to go through the whole house. To, like, you should have ran into the basement or something. I know. God, man. I fucked up big you time. You fucked up big so time. So I, I go right into the bathroom. My parents hear me come in, and I don't come out of the bathroom for, like, 20 minutes. So my mom's like, Brianna, what the fuck? I'm like, all right. So I come out. I'm like, what's up, mom? It's good. And she's <laughs> good. Tell me I, up, I literally was like, it's good, mom. I was like, what's up? And I'm like, I'm still wet. I have sand all over me because I went straight from the beach to the, the bad guy's house. And then it <laughs> broke my heart. I'm covered in blood. I'm wasted. I had a water bottle of um, fucking pink, pink, um, what, oh, uh, UV uh, lemonade. Yes, yes. Something like that. Um, and my mom goes, Wayne, that's my dad's name. I smell vodka. <laughs> oh my god, dude! And this, my parents were so strict. Like they my were so dad strict. was like, oh my god, the scariest man ever. So I'm still in the bathroom. I'm like, I have no escape, <laughs> no escape. So I, my dad, I, I smell hear vodka. Him. I hear my dad pounding. Like he's a big dude, and he's like, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, no, 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 no. And he comes in, and, he, and you could smell me from a mile away. And he's like, oh my god. He literally like pushes me up against the wall, and he's like, are you drinking? Are you drinking? I'm like, no way, no, I'm not. And he, and he did the same thing. Stand on one foot, but I put my hands on the wall <laughs> when I stood on one foot. And he's like, you're fucking done. Keep in mind, we have a family vacation to California mm. with my best friend that was just making out with the boy. So I hated her now. She committed treason. With my freaking dad that literally wouldn't talk to me. You so committed treason to him. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was a big <laughs> fucking treason fest. And I wake up and I'm like, fuck. Like, what yeah, do I do, tough. man? We How got much of it do you remember? Vacation planned. I, I just remember. At that time. I remember standing on one foot. All right, guys, quick commercial break for HelloFresh. So this summer, HelloFresh is here to take the work out of eating well. You can reach your goals with delicious, calorie-smart, and protein-smart lunches, dinner options, plus the new vegan recipes, too. So you can get farm-to-table quality with every HelloFresh box. HelloFresh seasonal ingredients are picked to peak ripeness and travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days for fresh flavor in every bite. So figuring out what for dinner is not at the top of anyone's summer activity wish list. HelloFresh delivers mouth-watering, chef-crafted recipes, and fresh ingredients to your door so you can spend your summer doing well, whatever you want. No one wants to go into the grocery store and spend a bunch of time picking out ingredients that are going to go bad in your fridge. You want to get meals delivered stress to your, straight to your door. So HelloFresh makes entertaining easy with a selection of crowd-pleasing eats like their bratwurst bar with caramelized onions, uh, Dianae slaw, pineapple relish, or snack board with pretzel bites, spice bar nuts, and honey peach jam. So HelloFresh is your recipe for success. It's foolproof, so it's super easy to make these meals. If I can make them, then anyone can make them. If you haven't tried HelloFresh, make sure to check it out. You can go to HelloFresh.com slash Plan16 and use code Plan16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Plan16. Use code Plan16 for 16 free Emails plus shipping. Make sure to make eating right easier this summer with HelloFresh. Let's get back to the episode. My dad's saying, you're covered in blood. You're fucking done. You're mm. fucking done. Get upstairs. So not it when was you're one done. Of those, it was one of those by the collars, like, drag oh, me upstairs. Oh, you're fucking done. When, dude, oh. 
You fucking done. Your whole your whole brain goes to fuck. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. It's I'm over. Done. I thought my life. I thought I was never gonna be able to play sports. I thought they were gonna keep me locked up. I thought that was it. And at the same time, I'm so mad at my best friend for making out with the love of my life that didn't like me back. Didn't even know I liked him. So I'm like, dude, what the fuck? So we go to school the next day, and I'm like. Yeah, I don't really want to go on vacation with you anymore. And <laughs> she's like, why? And, you, and, you, and you're in eighth grade and you're going to freaking California for oh, the first not time. Cool. It's not school. It's summer. But I see her and I'm like, oh, we had cheerleading practice. Oh, yeah. And her mom picked us up and she was like, you two really need to figure this one out. And I'm like, no, like I'm done. Like we're never going to be friends again. Like that's <laughs> like no way. She broke girl code. And <laughs> her mom was like, it's whatever, whatever. It happens. Girls be friends. So we come together because I'm like, we have to face my dad together. And the whole family vacation, my dad only would talk to her, wouldn't talk to me silent treatment was oh. worse than anything in the whole entire world we That's talked it. about yeah, that yeah yeah so the silent treatment we we somebody realized in therapy was is literally worse than just being mad and confronting you with words it's way worse like it's like mental warfare silent treatment is so much worse yeah because it makes you spiral and then it feels like you're like so unloved and it's like what the fuck it makes your it makes your whole brain just start thinking terrible 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 things. terrible things so yeah oh, our gosh. first our first our dad's got us good yeah our dad's got us <laughs> yeah by the fucking Balls. necks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get caught my first time by oh, my parents because wow. my parents were away and Francesca was having a party at the house. So she Wait, was... How much older is Fran than you? Four and a half years. Okay. So you guys so, were never in high school uh, together or you were? Uh, no. no. Me and my brother were. So I was in eighth grade and she was either... Yeah, I think she was going into her senior year of college and I came downstairs with all of her friends and they're like, Gia, drink with us, whatever. And I was like, okay, fine. Like I had like a sip of alcohol before, but never like that. And then next thing I know, like me and Francesca are like taking shots oh, no. and I like completely blacked out. My sister told me that I, well, I had braces and that's, this oh, no. is when Vine was really big. Yeah. So hey, Vine. My, yeah. So my <laughs> Vine, sister's friends Vine. were all taking videos of me like so drunk and posting it on Vine. And my friend, my eighth grade friends were texting me, oh my God, like you're like awful. You're done. You're out of our friend group. And I'm like, I can't even look at this. I can't even look at this. My, my basketball coach's daughter was there because she's in my sister's grade. I was like, you can't tell my coach that I'm drunk. You <laughs> oh, can't my tell God. my coach coach and so and it's funny because Francesca actually ended up like with her head in the toilet like throwing up by the end of the night and I was just like running around like ah, and we had our Noe day the next day which is like our big eighth grade pool party oh, so I was like I have to go to my pool party so I woke up and go to went to school and I like didn't know what being hungover was so I was like I don't feel good I really don't feel good I went to the nurse and I threw up everywhere and I think my nurse like knew but I couldn't tell so then my sister and all of her friends came to pick me up and they're like, no, no, you're hungover. Like, this is what happens when you drink alcohol. And then I, my friends like never talked to me again. Oh, That's so wow. funny. I, but then I found because... my other friend group that like became my friends in high school. So it, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but they were like, they sent me like all the vines and they were like, I can't believe that you would drink alcohol. Oh, oh dude, wow. on the polar opposite of that, we... We shunned people who didn't drink with us. Yeah. We're like, you're not going to drink? Yeah, we're that, doing? That's kind of we're what bad. it turned into when I was like a freshman and sophomore. We're like, well, we're going to go drink. So if you don't want to drink, then you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy that like we got drunk so young. Or yeah. every, let all kids do. It's yeah. like really young to start getting wasted. We, no wonder our parents are so strict. Shit. And Dude, if I know my 13, 12-year-olds out there getting wasted... You're coming home with me. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ, I'm laying down the fucking law. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. You're done for. I got you by the collar and the balls, yeah. you bitch. Yeah, you're fucking done <laughs> you're for. Gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna try to fucking alley, alley up on me? No way. No way. I, I look back at eighth hammer. graders like they're so little. Like, I was like, I can't believe little people like that were drinking alcohol so I know. When crazy we find out, found out like your little sister's drinking we're like what and then we remember we did i know yeah it's crazy it's just like when you're older you're like that a little child no way no way yeah. it's so bizarre and we're like why aren't our parents just let us meanwhile like the cool parents like the crackhead ones that yeah. would, like let their and we're like why can't it be cool like sarah's mom well sarah's mom has is on has a couple things <laughs> wrong yeah. there's a couple bad it's stuff like, like, so going on problem it's a bad home and that uh, that's why we're not on you're not on drugs like, but that's the fun house yeah no yeah it's a, it's a fun house yeah. Yeah. dude do you remember we would go to that one fun house? yeah i know oh my god we no, thought it was the funnest i got trapped there a lot bad. i got trapped there dude dude that girl was bad news bears yeah i'd end up dude she ended up dating someone from omegle oh uh, no yeah 
What? Yeah. The mom? No, the daughter. What? Yeah. How do you even meet someone? I don't know. Meagle doing doing all this and shit, and oh, God. she ended up texting the boy, and they ended up dating all like via wow. text. I don't know. You know who she also ended up dating? Who? Yeah. The love of my life and your life. Oh, I know. That was heartbreaking. Uh, we're like, oh, he just like badasses. <laughs> so we tried to be badass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember trying to be such a badass. Mm. Middle school's in. High school is crazy. You're just really trying to be something you're not. Yeah. You're just really trying to friggin' be cool. Damn. No one even knows what cool is. You don't even know who you are. No, man. You want to change your name and shit. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to like see like when we have kids and them in high school. Yeah. And just be like, I, I want to relive this shit again, but I don't want to go through it. I just want to see it. I just want to see it play out. Yeah. I want to hear the drama. Oh my God. I don't want to be I don't in wanna... on the gossip. I want my kids to tell me everything, but I'm, I'm not going to spread it. I'm not going to say anything. No. And I'm not going to be one of those moms who's no. like too involved. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, we said. What did we say? That we have to kids, have kids at the same time. We did say this. So that they can. That it's going to be a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. And then they're going to fall in love, obviously. Obviously. And, and then, then we can be real family. Finally blood. <laughs> and we have to live in a culture sack. Uh-huh. Where we live right next door to each other. Uh-huh. And yeah, there's really no other option. Game. What we were saying, <laughs> we we're gonna say it's really gonna stink. Like if one of us has a kid first, but we have to at least plan one kid out at the same time. Yeah. Or else I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I mean it's just like not fun or fair. It's not fun or fair because it's so fun to have kids with your friends and they grow up together. And it's so sick. It's like lifelong here, best friend. Here, I promise you, this person's gonna be your best friend forever. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's oh. the best gift you could ever give your or child. Or we were saying our kids are gonna be so weird and the I worst know. and like just like not all there. Yeah, like they're just not gonna be cool. I'm a pale ass fucking ginger freak of a baby. We were saying Grace needs to marry someone with dark hair something to add some color color to this pale pasty translucent baby i have <laughs> oh yeah because she likes to she likes to uh marry irish yeah. so if she if she does a double irish i like to marry irish i've done i've already done three of them <laughs> <laughs> these divorces are costing me a penny in some <laughs> oh my god wait auntie wait remember you were yes. um, a divorcee on the florida trip? oh my god i was dressed like a i just have to show a picture because it's hilarious i was looking at it last night um i was dressed like an auntie but i was also divorced mm -hmm. uh, away from my kids for the weekend and i was just having good fun and she was doing her shoulder moves and was. i couldn't stop rolling my shoulders and she was getting into it and i was like we're all the hot singles yeah. it was disturbing no it was Here fun you were such a fun oh she's thing. just having so much fun with her freaking sandals <laughs> this is my divorcee outfit i guess it's not as crazy as i really thought but eh, she just got divorced she doesn't know what to wear yet what were you wearing um, just like the best Coles outfit you could find. Ooh, we're cute. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, it's not even that bad. I no. thought it was worse. It just felt worse on my body. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It felt frumpy. Ah. What else um, they got? Let's see. Oops. The people also want to know. Um, any advice for moving to New York City? Oh, Do gosh. it. I think everyone should live in New York City for some period of their life. But um, use Street Easy. I didn't know that before I moved here until oh, someone yeah. that lived here told me to use Street Easy. Um, if you want to live somewhere fun, I feel like when you move here, you should totally like move to the Lower East Side. Mm -hmm. Lower East Side is so friggin' it's fun. the hustle and the bustle. And it's where everyone's like young and cool and fun and it's just like grungy. It's like most New York City, I would feel. Like it feels like you're in a movie. And you probably can't afford the West Village, so that's why I'm saying East. I think a good piece of advice would be um, start start up high, whether that be, um, I don't know. I, I actually don't, I'm not very good at maps, but start up high <laughs> and work your way down so that you can appreciate and afford where it's fun by the, by the time. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you age yourself out that way. Yeah, no, that's actually a bad idea. I think start, you, start down and start move down, down your yeah. way up. That's just opposite of what you said. Yeah. <laughs> we were in the West Village the other day. Oh, <laughs> it God. was beautiful. Gia, we fucking hate you. Yeah. <laughs> seriously. It's so not fair. It's seriously not I fair. I think Andy Cohen is my neighbor. You've seen him a lot, right? Yeah. Wow. I know. Why it's cool. You? And I saw Busy Phillips. Like, there's okay. just some Busy. celebrities walking around. Oh, you're such a bitch. <laughs> That's where they all live, man. Oh. Yeah. I I'll be there you. one day. One day. You could maybe be there soon. I don't think so. How did you find your apartment? Was it like you get it? Easy. Did you get it like the day it dropped? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
You got to act fast. That's the other thing. You got to act fast on these apartments. Yes. If you find an apartment that you like, show up to the viewing with all of your paperwork filled out in a folder. Then you'll get the apartment if you just give it to them. And this isn't just for New York, but always say yes. Yes. Always say yes. Mm -hmm. When you're in your 20s, say yes to everything. Just say yes. I don't know. Get fucked. Get fucked. (laughs) Not heroin, yes. Well, yeah. But <laughs> just meet, try to meet new people and step out of your comfort zone. Because I feel like when we first moved here, we were little scaredy cats. Mm-hmm. But then we, we were hanging out with people that we didn't even ever see ourselves with. And it was fun. And we got stories and we got memories. So just, yeah, do things. Like we said yes to – I said yes randomly to go to a, to a private jet to Miami with people I had met maybe a few times. That's a hard yes. I mean, I would debate that fucking no, but I didn't days on days. know these people. That's true. Like it's <laughs> just do things. It's fun. It's kind of scary. But then you have stories to tell. Just yeah. try to be safe. Yeah, just, I mean, use your head, guys. Yeah, don't be a fool. Don't be foolish. Oh, and totally just have sex with everyone, I think. Yeah, I, I did. And and it's been really, it's been great. I didn't. I was in a relationship and I wish I did. I wish we were just running around being little hookers. <laughs> I want to be a hooker, man. You could still be a hooker. There's plenty of time to be a hooker. It'll come to me. Hooker time. Hooker time. Um, everyone's saying that it's, this is just a statement. Oh, no. How is everyone saying this summer will be like 2016? Because I can feel it in my bones. It's got that radiant energy. Well, you know, it's not starting off too hot with this smog. The smog and your testosterone. Nope, your testes. What is it? What? You moron. My kidney stones? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but maybe that's just getting getting it all out. It's just it, it's blowing smoke up our asses because it's about to be the best summer of it all. Right? Come on. It's just pushing it all up. It's going to be the best, guys. Come on. If, I think if you just say it's going to be the best, then it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Just have I mean, just fun. like um, low expectations makes for great a uh, great summer. So it's like. Uh, oh, then we're fucked. You just got to, you just got to, you know, roll with the punches. Okay. I don't know. Not much of an advice giver. I need I need it more than anyone can I can give to anyone else. Oh. What else they're saying? What's it like working at Barstool? What's the tea? What's the drama? No tea, no drama. We got a bunch of new interns running around. Yes. It's just fun to see. Oh, we were also talking oh, about yes. this is funny because it's so crazy. We were sitting at dinner last night and we were sitting on the street and you can spot like all we're like, why can you just spot them so easily? They're all wearing the same thing as everybody else, but for some reason, it's we're more, talking about. It's more um, fresh and spiffy. It's like your first day of school outfit. Yeah, like, and we're saying it's like so funny because we were that too, but it's just like you can spot them from a mile away and they're running around. They're like, they've never been hurt and they're I, just so happy. I mean, I was out um, at the DL this weekend. It's like a rooftop bar place and everyone there, I think, was an intern and you could just tell because they had that smile on their face. Yeah. Something, something, no, nobody's got to them yet. It's so beautiful. It's a great day. I love it. It's so, it, and we were also saying that's why you can't find a fucking apartment because all the interns swooped in and took them. Yeah, they took them fast. Which is crazy because what, are they only here for the summer? Uh, some of them are and some of them will hope, uh, a lot of the times they'll get full-time jobs from their internships. That's what they're hoping for. That's what they're hoping for. That's a big dream. And I, that's what I hope for them. Uh, me too. I love these interns. They put a smile on my face. Um, long distance relationships, if you want to take that one away. Oh, wow. What about them? Everything? Just that was a subject sent in. Long distance relationships. How many did I do? I did Long one. Distance I did two. Relationships I did three. Kill you. I did three, I guess. Um, I think if you see yourself with the person for a very long time, then it's worth it. But uh, if you have any doubts at all, don't do it. Because if you waste all that time in the back of your head and you know you're going to end it, it's like you just wasted so much time and also so much energy because long distance relationships are so much harder than regular relationships because you have to put in 10 times more effort to like keep it there so if you think yes 100 percent, this is the person i'm gonna marry and your other person thinks the same exact thing do it go for it and it totally could work but if you have one inkling like i knew i had an inkling don't do it because you just waste time and then he drags out and then you just fuck everyone over and if you're in high school and you think you're in love with them you're not yeah, hmm. I know they hate when I say that, but um, it's very true. Unless you live in the South, it seems like they have a different system going on down there. Yes, that's different, but um, still have so much fun. But keep, you know, long distance relationships with your friends. Keep of in touch course. with your buddies. Yeah. Um, Is that all she wrote? That's all she wrote. All right. That's all she wrote. I think that's all we wrote. Yep. Yeah. And that's all I'm gonna do it. We'll be back on Monday with the. We'll be back on. <laughs> t- we'll be back on Thursday with a. 
Tuesday. Brand, we'll be back on... No, this is Tuesday, correct? Oh. We'll be back on Thursday with a brand new... Whenever this episode comes out, we'll talk to you next time, guys. And stay tuned. Excited.